Hey what's up guys Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video so before I begin this video I want to thank you all so much for watching this one if you enjoy my content make sure you leave a thumbs up also make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and follow me on my Instagram page if you have any questions the Instagram page for this channel will be down below so follow me there if you have any questions um, ask the people that asked me there I answer really quickly and yeah so if you have any questions or you want to know more about a phone and just hey just follow me there and like my pictures over there all right okay so enough plug let's go ahead and get started with today's video so today's video is actually requested by quite some people and that is to compare the lg k40 with the sam with the lg style 05 i plan on doing comparison between the galaxy a10e with the lg k40 and the galaxy a20 with the lg style 05 so yeah a lot of a lot of new cool videos are coming to this channel so yeah subscribe i, I did say enough plug but hey one, one last time all right let it pass okay so yeah in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the lg k40 and the lg style of five so let's go ahead and get started and we're going to narrow this down to four categories the first one being the design the second one is performance third is camera and the fourth category in this comparison is special features okay so let's go ahead and get started with the design so just by looking at these two phones from the back it's actually kind of hard to tell which is which uh, other than uh, other than the obvious which is the size it, they look really similar um the lg style 5 is like the bigger brother of the lg k40 and that's not how it was in the past in the k lineup and the style lineup were just two completely different phones so they both had their unique looks and unique design for example the k30 from last year had a metal design and the style 4 had a plastic design with metal rails all around it okay this year i guess lg is taking a different approach maybe kind of like the samsung approach the a10e and the a20 are like the uh are like the sibling of each other now the design of the lg k40 so it is made out of plastic all the way around and it is a 5.7 inch hd plus display it does support that nice 18 by 9 aspect ratio and on the front you do have a 5 megapixel front facing camera accompanied by a front facing flash i don't know if you're into that or not and on the right hand side you do have your power button on the left hand side you have your volume up and down as well as a special button which is the google assistant button and i'll talk about i'll talk more about that in a little bit also on the back you do have your 13 megapixel rear facing camera your led flash and your fingerprint sensor but like i said it's plastic all the way around and on the bottom of the phone you have a headphone jack the most disappointing part about the design of this phone is the fact that it still retains a micro usb connector uh, that's really an old connector and i'm surprised that lg still kept it on the k lineup yeah that's not a good look for the k40 to be honest and you have your speaker grill on the bottom which we'll take a listen to also and that would be part of your performance uh category okay so the style 5 like i said it, sh it shares similar uh design aspects the front does look a little bit different so the bezels are narrowed more uh there are less bezels on the style 5 than they are than they are on the k40 so a bigger chin and a bigger forehead on the K40 and a smaller one on the Stylo 5. Now, this does have a bigger screen too. It's a 6.2 inch uh, HD plus display. So this actually is a, so this is a 6.2 inch a full HD plus display. So higher resolution, sharper screen, and just, it, it just pops a little bit more than the K40 in my opinion. And on the front, you do also have your five megapixel front facing camera. On the back, you have your 13 megapixel camera, an LED flash, a fingerprint sensor. And on the bottom, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a microphone, your USB-C and a speaker as well as your stylus and I'll cover that in a little bit too so yeah overall the reason this is the more premium design is that the addition of this metal just gives it a little bit of weight and just ergonomically makes it more comfortable to hold and yeah it gives it that premium uh, feel if you will okay and that's really it for that's really it for the, that, so that's really it for the design on both of these phones to me the addition of this metal rail all around the style of five gives it a more premium design and also the shrinking down bezels on the front also gives it that more premium vibe okay and not to mention that the micro usb just takes off so many points off the design of the lg k40 okay so yeah that's pretty much it for design now performance so let's go ahead and run a geekbench and i'll talk more about the performance so three two one
benchmark scores are in, but before we talk about them, let's talk about actual on-paper specs. So let's start with the Stalo 5. So the Stalo 5 has a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core chip, 32 gigabytes of storage, and three gigabytes of RAM. Whereas the LG K40 also has a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core chip, 32 gigabytes of storage, and two gigabytes of RAM. So as far as benchmark score goes, the K40 is slightly worse than the LG Stylo 5 but in real life usage it doesn't really make a massive difference they're pretty they're pretty close in terms of benchmark scores and I'm actually shocked to see this so yeah performance doesn't seem like it's that far off from the two so if you're if your sole decision is on performance they're both pretty good I mean for their price of course now if we compare this to past devices past flagships then the yeah the single core needs some work for both of these phones however the multi-core is high enough to actually keep up with things like the note 5 the one plus three yeah it's a little bit lower than the one plus three in the note 5 but it's up there of course same story goes for the lg k40 so the only real difference in terms of the performance comes down to the ram and the k40 does have less ram than the lg style 5 and I know for my a lot of subscribers, you guys are fan. You guys, you guys, you guys hate it when a phone has two gigabytes of RAM or less, and rightfully so. So when I should go to choose between performance, I'll definitely pick the Stylo 5 just because it has more RAM. Well, as far as CPU and GPU goes, it's pretty similar, near identical to be exact too. So performance for both of these is close. The only thing that edges the Stylo 5 is that one extra gigabyte of RAM. Okay, so we talked about the design, we talked about the performance, and part of the performance actually is the battery life on both of these phones. Now the Stylo 5 does have the slightly bigger battery, and it does, um, has, and it does have a better battery life. And that's just been my personal experience with it. Yeah, it does have a higher resolution display and a bigger screen, but for some reason it just lasts a little bit longer than the K40. That's probably due to the battery size of the Stylo 5. Okay, now let's move on to the camera. Now, uh, I did take a couple of sample shots and here's what I have to say about the camera. First of all, it does take, um, the Stylo 5 does take pictures at a faster pace than the LG K40. The LG K40 is just has a slower shutter and you just have to deal with that if you plan on getting the K40 over the Stylo 5. As far as picture quality goes, the, the LG Stylo 5 does pull off just uh, better, slightly better pictures even. They're not really that far off of each other. So the LG, the LG Stylo 5 has just just a slightly more color to its pictures than the LG K40. Now, let's see. So as far as, like I said, as far as color goes, to me the Stylo 5 just has the better colors as far as sharpness and things like that. They're about the same resolution, about the same. But the only thing that differentiates the picture is the, the exposure and the colors, which the Stylo 5 does beat out the uh, K40. And also the dynamic range is just nicer on the Stylo 5. The skies are a little bit more blue and you see a little bit more detail on the trees than you do with the K40. But the difference is just so minor. Um, in all in reality, uh, this, the dynamic range on both of these phones is actually horrible. But the Stylo 5 is just a tiny bit better. So take that with a grain of salt when you're trying to make your decision on which phone to buy. Okay, so the final category comes to the features. So the difference in features between those two uh, are the following. So the K40 does have a front-facing flash. I don't know if you would consider this a feature. Matter of fact, when, when turning on the front-facing camera, um, they both are. They both should pretty similar front-facing pictures, by the way. But the front-facing flash is something that I would avoid using pretty much at all times. The other feature that the K40 has that the Stylo 5 is missing is the Google Assistant button. Now that's really up to you if you think that this will be useful to you. To me, that's a nice button to have. Hey, if you want to navigate or you want to quickly look up something, just press that Google Assistant button and it's there to help you. Now, I don't know of a way to reprogram the button. If LG does open, up, uh, does open it up to reprogram it, then this would actually be a, a really nice useful feature, more useful than it is now. Okay, as far as the Stylo 5 comes, you already guessed it. The Stylus is its 
really differentiating feature from the K40 and it does give you plenty of options to mess around with. Now personally, like I said in my initial unboxing, I found myself not using the stylus as much. I still tried it, try using it more and more, but it just fades over time. But you still got it. For the people that are actually into this stuff, you still have the option to use it. And you have plenty of things to use it for. It's pretty customizable. You have these pop-up memo coloring book, draw chat, quick mumble plus, and a lot of different features. So you can add and remove features as you'd like. And yeah, you, there's just a lot of things that you could do with this stylus. And even like taking pictures and drawing on Snapchat, things like that, it would be nice. Okay, so let me wrap it this. So let me wrap this up with a conclusion. And you still have the double tap to open up both these devices. So yeah, let me wrap it up with a conclusion. And the conclusion is the following. To me, the, the Stylo 5 is the better, more refined version of the K40. The K40, while they do share a lot of similarities in terms of looks, like if you look at it from the back, like I said in the beginning, then they're pretty similar. Uh, uh, the Stylo 5 is just the bigger brother. However, the fact that the LG K40 still uses a really old connector, an outdated connector, the micro USB being, being the micro USB, then I can't really recommend it. I would put out the extra money and get the Stylo 5 that way you'd have this USB-C, a more future-proof connector. You do have also quick charge, which you don't have it on the K40. As far as performance, if you're making your decision solely on performance, then they're tied. Um, there's not really a huge gap in terms of performance. And the speaker, let's go ahead and listen to it. And yeah, but really my final conclusion is I would just put in the extra money and get the Stylo 5 over the K40. Um, like I said, if you're only looking for performance, then either one would do the job just fine. The only difference of performance is just the, the K40 does have one gig less of RAM. So the speaker round is they're pretty also similar i would say the the stylo 5 just produces a slightly better sound but yeah the stylo 5 does for me take take my money but yeah so i want to wrap it up i want to thank you all so much for watching this one if you enjoy my content leave a thumbs up also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video soon subscribe and thank you all so much for watching